everybody. I'm Joe. And I'm Melissa. And together we are J&M Photo Video, and we'd like to welcome you back to our podcast, Blue Hour with J&M, which is a podcast that we talk about wedding photography, videography, and creative entrepreneurship. This podcast is geared toward our couples, our future couples, and pretty much anybody planning a wedding. Uh, We call it Blue Hour because we hope to record this during Blue Hour, which is the first hour after sunset when the sky is all blue and our goal is to have our girls in bed by that point but tonight is not the case it is 9 20 in december so blue hour was many hours ago it's earlier than we normally get started. yes it is earlier than we normally get started but today's episode is all about wedding videography um and so for a good bit of this podcast it's gonna be a lot of joe talking because he is our Ooh. primary videographer i will chime in um as I need to, but I'm here to help with this conversation. So I know quite a bit about videography, but you are a video editor. Yes, yeah, I'm the primary video guy. So I go to weddings where there's um, where we're doing a highlight film or whatever it is, and I'm operating a camera and I'm doing doing the thing. But you are the one that puts all those pieces together in the end. Right. Yeah, I'm so. our primary video editor and primary like technical video person of yes. the two of us. So yeah. Um. So tell us why video is so important. So in my mind, everybody's heard the phrase, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? Right. Um, You've heard that probably your whole life. So extrapolating that, if a picture is worth a thousand words, what does a video do, right? A video is engaging more senses. You're Mm -hmm. hearing it, you're seeing it. Um, It puts you back in the moment just so much better than photos. Right. Not that photos are bad. We're no. obviously photographers. Right. So like that part's important too. Yes. Um, but I feel like oftentimes, uh, especially in weddings, video is kind of um, the backseat to photo. Mm-hmm. And we'll get to that later. But I just think it's so important to be able to see your wedding day in a different way. Right. Because there were things um, reflecting back on our video. Right. Uh, and some couples have told us this as well. You know, hey, there are things that I didn't even know happened that mm-hmm. are in the video. Yeah, that um, that I had no clue happened that day. But I'm so glad you captured it. Right. I mean, you get that with photo too. But like, right. you get the sounds, you get the emotions. If someone's voice is shaking because they're nervous about something, you're hearing that in the video. Right. You're not getting that emotion through a photo. Right. At least you're not audibly hearing no. it, right? Like you can. Well, you yeah, can you can feel the emotion, but but you can't hear how someone's voice sounded on on your wedding day. Right, right. So I might be biased because I am a wedding <laughs> videographer and I've right. been doing video for half my life, right? But mm-hmm. I think video is so important to a wedding day. So what are some of the common um, things that are included in a video package? Things that we offer, things that you've seen others offer. Yeah. So typically, you see. Um, a lot of different products and things that come from wedding mm-hmm. videography. The most typical being um, like a wedding highlight film, right? That's what everybody kind of thinks of when you hire a wedding videographer. That's usually your five to eight minute, nine minute, um, just kind of overview of the day includes clips from the entire day, kind of cinematic highlight um, ties in audio ties in all these elements of your day. And it's the best clips of the day, right? It's not comprehensive, right? But it is the filmmaker or videographer's take on your wedding day and telling and, that story as best they can in five to eight minutes. Right. And it's including those voices, those sounds, those words from the day. Yes. Pieces of the vows, peaches, pieces of people's speeches, pieces of a poem someone might read during the ceremony. It's those little sounds throughout the day. Yeah, exactly. Good point. Uh, we've seen all those in the past like three yeah. months, right? Yeah. So, Yeah. Um, and then you move on into your other things. So um, you could have a full ceremony edit. You could have uh, full speeches, full special dances, vertical content for socials. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's really kind of limitless in terms of like the different things you can want from a video um, on your wedding day. And that's kind of the first thing I ask when I'm talking to a couple. The first time I talk to them right. about video is, hey, what are you hoping to walk away from your wedding day with? video wise, Mm -hmm. you know, is your ceremony super important to you? Do you want to be able to relive that with three different camera angles and every word and everything? And 
you know, then you need a full ceremony. Yeah. Um, you know, if you want a little bit less, maybe you have a little bit shorter highlight film. Mm-hmm. And that's something we can kind of dive into yeah. too. So there are lots of different things that you might want out of your wedding day. And that's usually my first question to our couples, mm-hmm. our brides, when they inquire and they get on the phone with me, hey, what is it that you're hoping to walk away with, right? right? Do you have a ceremony that's very important to you and you want to hear all 28 minutes, um, you know, every word that's said? Do you want just a really quick, short video? Mm-hmm. You know, Do you have the budget to do um, like a longer eight to nine minute video? Or do you need something that's a little bit shorter to try to match your budget, which is right. something we're going to get into too. Yeah, so, we're going to talk a lot about budget here in a little yeah. bit. So there's lots of different things you can mm-hmm. you can walk away with from wedding day, video wise. Yeah. Okay. So tell me a little bit about raw footage and why some videographers will sell their raw footage and others are like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. It's kind of a like divided topic, I think, in the, the wedding video space. Because you'll never see a photographer give away their raw photos. That's right. never going to happen. Yeah. Hard and fast um, thing for us and for many yeah, photographers. Yeah. For photographers, that's not going to happen away. because they're going to edit their photos to look in their style and their craft. Exactly. Videography, on the other hand, um, some videographers will sell you their raw footage after the wedding. Sure. Um, that's not something that we typically do. Um, we've ha- we have had couples in the past ask us for the raw footage of certain moments of the day. Sure. Like, I had a lot of fun with my friends dancing to this particular song at the wedding. Right. Do you think you could, like, give me I the raw I saw, footage I think for I that? saw you rolling. Do you think you could? Yeah. yeah could yeah, I have you whatever you have from that moment? Yeah. Um, but why, why is raw footage just like, you know, you don't really necessarily want it? So there's a lot of reasons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the first big reason is it takes a lot of hard drive space to store it. Mm-hmm. Um, each wedding for us is 300 to 400 plus gigabytes, and yeah. that's, that's light. Yeah. Was that about um, the last wedding we did? Because I know how yeah. much video was involved in that one. And that's and that's even transcoding things to a smaller resolution, like a smaller right. file size, right? Right. Um, so, yeah. That's, it would it takes, take a lot of cloud storage to so- store that. You would need a hard drive. Yeah. Um, which is not super practical for your average person. No. Right? The other thing is, um, I don't care how good of a filmmaker you are, there's going to be clips of your feet, mm-hmm. the trees. Mm-hmm. There's going to be random stuff. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you sort all that out and okay, I, I get the idea, but there's also um, the art and science and whatever you want to call it, voodoo magic of putting everything together right, um, and making that cohesive film. Right. And when you make um, your film, you are picking the very best moments from the day. Right. You're going to use all of the best things that you have and then some. Thinking with the mindset of inclusivity and trying to get all those special moments, mm-hmm. but yes, also choosing the best clip, the right moment, the right way to tell the story. Right. Some people will take their raw footage and just drop everything into one mm-hmm. video clip and put that together for the couple. Yeah. And that can be kind of nice. That's what you've done before in the past when couples have asked for specific moments. I've done that one time on one wedding. I've done every clip for them. That oh, yeah. Was one yeah, yeah, very yeah. I forgot about that case. wedding. Yeah. Yeah. But what I like to do, and I think it's really fun to do. But that, let, let's go back a second. Okay. That wedding that you made one giant clip with all the raw footage, that was a micro wedding in a sense it was we yes, were there like two three hours mm-hmm. so that's only two or three hours worth of footage not an eight, eight to nine to hour, ten day. hour day mm-hmm. so yeah. the f- amount of footage you you put into that one clip the size of that one video was not the size i mean it was a third of the size right. it would be right. on a typical wedding day right exactly um i was about to say something and i Sorry. lost my train of thought um, oh, what I like to do, <laughs> how I like to handle this this situation is I really like to um, give couples bonus footage. Yes. Like DVD extras almost. Yeah, right? pretty much. Um, where like there's a couple specific things. And uh, if you're a couple for 2024, 25 watching this, feel free to ask me. I'm happy to do yeah. this for you. Because um, I'm watching all the footage anyway, editing it. Mm-hmm. I can usually find that pretty quick. Yeah. Um, and I just really love the idea. I mean, we grew up with DVDs, right? Right. So, like, I mean, the modern generation doesn't really know DVDs. Yeah. But, but I mean, it's bonus footage, yeah, right? It's so bonus, it's, it's, bonus it's features. Extras. Yes. So, 
yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy yeah. to. Yeah, you pick often moments in. you often deliver like some bonus features yes. in that sense. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, I mean, if you're, we've kind of gotten completely off our notes. No, but, but if it's, you're, fine. it's fine. If you're, um, if you're wanting that cinematic highlight style and you're concerned about raw footage, I, I would not really be concerned about it because there is just a a lot of footage to go through. Yeah. And B, not all of it's going to be watchable anyway. Yeah, it's so. hours of footage that yes. it, it's not really going to make much sense unless you're watching it in a film way. Yeah, I mean, and this is kind of a hot take too, because a lot of videographers will yeah. sell a hard drive That's and true. ship you stuff That's and true. move on. But yeah. it's not really something that we like to do. It just doesn't seem very practical. No. So um, coming back to the idea of products and types of videos and end results, right, from weddings. Um, something that we can do and that I feel like most videographers would entertain. Mm-hmm. Um, we're speaking for ourselves here. Right. We don't um, speak for other people. We speak sure. for us. Um, but something you might be able to do is create a shorter highlight video. This is like a two to three minute, four minute max mm-hmm. um, video that is a little bit simpler to mm-hmm. put together. Maybe there's there's less audio sources right. happening. Um, this is something we've offered to people sure. in the past. And I think we've booked a few of these already. I think we do have a couple year. of these. Um, and it's great because you still have that cinematic feel. Mm-hmm. You still get to have the power of video telling the story of the day. Yep. But it's not a cost burden. It's not. It's a short thing that you can yeah. watch. So The best, the easiest way to that I've described this to a bride before is it's a you're able to capture this with one videographer. Right. So it's not as many tripods set up for your ceremony. Right. It's not as many people mic'd throughout the day. Um, because with videography, there is so much gear. Right. Like a photographer, you can show up to a wedding pretty much with one body, a 24 to 70, a couple batteries, SD cards, you're good to go. You better have a second body. Yeah, you'll have a second body, <laughs> hopefully. Okay. Yeah. But you can go pretty light. You can carry everything you need right. in a backpack. Yes. You can backpack okay. a wedding photo. Game. Whereas yeah. with a video day, our trunk is full. Yes. We're, we're taking like three tripods, a Minimum. gimbal, um, four cameras. That means four lenses. Light stands. Light stands. Batteries to power everything. Yeah. So Various different types of audio sources. Yes. Multiple mics, multiple ways to plug into DJ stuff to yep. get that audio for the reception. Like yep. the amount of work that goes in on the front end to a video day is significantly more than a photography day. Right. Um, so this shorter video that you're talking about is essentially taking all of that and paring it down to the most essential elements to be able to do it all with one person. Right. Alongside, typically, right. photo coverage. Mm-hmm. Because our cameras do both, and it's really pretty yeah. easy to switch between them. So for us, if we're doing a hybrid day, and it's that shorter video package, I am photo, and Joe is video. And he, if there's an angle that I need photo-wise, he'll go he'll switch back and forth between photo and video. Right. He has that flexibility enough to do that. However, if I'm with the bride and I know that he's not going to get to get her dress being zipped, I'm going to go ahead and get that video footage for him. Yep. Like we're going to help each other out throughout the day. Yep. And we work well together. I mean, we run a business together. Um, we're married. <laughs> so we know each other really well. And we know how the other like operates on a wedding day. So I know... His schedule, he knows my schedule, and we know what the other person wants. Right. So if he's with the groom and he knows that timeline-wise, I'm not going to make it to him to get his getting ready stuff, he's going to take those pictures and the video. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bride. I'm going to take her photos and her video. Yep. So it just yep. makes like that that special hybrid package that we do where it's just the two of us. Um, we're not bringing a third person. Right. And we're, we're helping that bride, that couple, that – wants both but might not have the budget for both right and budget's important um i mean we talked a lot about budget in our previous episode Mm -hmm. about uh, booking a wedding photographer um and i think it would be important here to kind of zoom out and talk about budget for wedding video Mm -hmm. Um, and i think one of the biggest things we see is that um, as an industry wedding video 
gets kind of put on the back burner, right? It's like book, if there's room in the budget, we'll do a video. If there's room in the budget, the, the standard things, um, you book your venue, you mm-hmm. book your photographer, you book your caterer. Those are like... The top three the things top you do in things. that order. And people will tell you to do it in that order mm-hmm. too. And... Um, planners normally high up there if they're planning to do a sure, planner. Sure. Yep. Your planner is usually pretty early in the process as well. But um, we've heard an, a couple different podcasts now actually call out the same kind of topic where um, video should be in that conversation from, yes. the, from the beginning. Yeah. If you know you are even considering a wedding video, it should be one of your first people that you contact. And the budget for a video, and I'm primary photo, budget for video should be more than your photo. Because the amount of focus, the amount of energy, the amount of, I, I'm running out of, words here the yeah, amount of everything that goes into video is so effort. much more effort that's the, the effort. word yeah, the effort. um is so much more than photo because not just the gear you're bringing but it's the back end sure and i know we're talking about this later but i want to talk about this now because it ties into budget and not belittling photo right there's no, a lot no, of no. back end in photo there is a lot of back end in of, photo i mean there's back breaking work for photographers on yes day, there is right like both people are going hard all yes. day. Yes, and you're running and you're you're carrying your gear and you're doing all this stuff. Yeah. As a videographer, you're you're coming through an editor, you're coming through and and telling a story of that couple's day. So, you really need to be like all in on that process mm-hmm. and be able to build that video from scratch and hopefully either tell the couple's story or the story of the day or, You're a storyteller. Exactly. Whereas with photos, the story's already told. You're just picking the best images from the day and editing them in the style that you've already created. You've captured it and you're sharing it. Yeah. Not creating it from... Right. You're creating nothing. that story. You're picking the moments. You're you're pulling the, the audio, the speeches, the words that are going to tell that story for, of their wedding day. And I think that the industry as a whole kind of started this way because I feel like photography kind of took off a little bit more in the past, let's say 10 years okay. than, than video, 10 to 15 years. I feel like 15 years ago, you got married and you wanted a wedding videographer. They came with a camcorder <laughs> on a tripod that recorded to whatever format was five years old. Right. And um, they stuck it on the tripod. They did your ceremony. You're done. Right. Right. They weren't making you a cinematic highlight film. Correct. Yeah, so in the past, I don't know, 10 or so years. Since... We got married, what, seven and a half years yeah. ago? Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like seven and a half years ago is when wedding films kind of like started. started I feel like yeah. we had a wedding film and I didn't know many other people that had gotten married around the same time we did that had a wedding film. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I mean, we were the first of our friends to get married. Sure. but. N- not anybody else in our circle had a wedding film. Yeah. And the and the geeky camera nerd in me uh, sees that as a product of DSLRs and mirrorless oh, yeah. cameras and everything being more capable, more popular, more available. Right. Um, that, you know, people have begun to make these cinematic films, right? So, but I think that mindset, that's where it came from. Right. Right. Like we just, I don't know, we'll hire a videographer if we can. Like, it's, yeah. He's going to come to the ceremony for an hour and be done. Right. Right. Um, and not knocking any of you who might have found this that were that videographer 15 no. years ago. No, 15 um, years ago, that was that was fine. That was a thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, but businesses and technology has evolved. And culture has changed. And yeah. So I think that that's where that mindset came from. But we would love to see it change to where, um, you know, wedding video is prioritized toward the front end. And we tell our couples that too, you know, Hey, if you're thinking of video, you know, be thinking of it early in the process. So I think that we should transition this into kind of tips and, and advice and things you should know, things we would want you to know if you're like our best friend booking a wedding video. Right. I help my best friend book all Um, her wedding vendors. (laughs) <laughs> jk she found um, most of them herself but i did guide her <laughs> for our listening audience we have a list we're gonna just kind of pop through here and yeah. um you might see us referring to it here because it is getting a little bit late it is it's... and we're a little while into this podcast so. yeah 
Um, but let's dive into this list and uh, give you some tips and practical nuggets of wisdom for uh, all things wedding video. So if you're considering video and you already have booked your photographer, um, they are going to know a videographer that they've worked with, that they liked, that they're going to recommend. Unless you're going with a, a business, a company that offers both, um, see who your photographer recommends and they like because your photographer and your videographer are going to work together all day long. Yep. Um, for instance, when Joe, Joe and I are doing photo and video, um, I will pose the couple um, for a shot and Joe will come with the video. I'm like, okay, guys, hold it for video. Right. And they're already like in that spot. Yep. Or I'll be taking their photo and Joe will just go ahead and get the shot because he knows what I'm going to do next. Sure. Or she's shooting a double exposure that takes an extra second to do something with a camera. Like you're, you know, moving a setting or something right. and I can grab what I need in between. Yeah. And videographers and photographers who've worked together will be able to have that kind of synergy on your mm -hmm. wedding day and be able to go back and forth and make it a very fluid experience. Right. And that's so important because yes. if not, you have... You have a story you could tell. You have... <laughs> yeah, I have lots of stories I could tell, but um, the biggest thing is you'll you'll see where uh, photographers might pull a couple or videographers, mm -hmm. vice versa, either way. But you might pull the couple to do something special, right? You take a particular night portrait or you do a particular thing that's your style, your vibe. Um, but the videographer has no idea. Right. Or How many times versa. have you been left for like golden hour photos when, been, on a vid video day? I have literally like grabbed all of my things and like sprinted. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, um, where's the couple? Oh, yeah. they're at... Right. At golden hour photos. Yeah. Oh crap. Because because <laughs> things happen, right? Yeah. You know, golden hour is supposed to be six fifteen and the sun looks great at six oh five, right? And and things happen, but if you don't have that team that know each other and that work well together. Or if you um, haven't built a relationship with the photographer, yes. They might just leave you. Right, exactly. They <laughs> might yeah, they might just peace out. Yeah. So yeah, that's definitely a, a trickier situation. Yeah. We've been in that situation mm -hmm. because sometimes we don't always work with the photographer ahead of time. Right. Sometimes we meet the photographer that day. Right. And sometimes they're willing to work with the video team and sometimes they're like, well, I'm photo and... Yeah, very much in their own lane. Yeah. So. So, which is, yeah. which is unfortunate for the couple because you're going to want to get the shots you want to get and you're going to have to make them do things twice. Right. Whereas if the photographer just worked well with you, right. It, the couple would have a much better experience. Yeah. And you could delve into like artistic style and like agreeing on like artistic vision and everything too. I, I've been on a few that I have not agreed at all with what the photographer is doing. And I'm like, really? You're doing that? Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, but all of that to say, uh, if you've booked photography but not videography, mm -hmm. ask your photographer first because they're probably going to, in this day and age, have worked with someone that they like. Yeah. Um, or someone that they haven't worked with, but they it, like they like their work. Sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. And a lot of other the same tips from booking a wedding photographer, uh, shameless plug for episode two, <laughs> um, would apply here as well. You want to see samples of people's work. Mm -hmm. um, you want to seek out people's work um, and be looking at their wedding films before you book them. Right. Right. You don't want to just uh, blindly send a contact form and say, hey, you know, what about a wedding video? So ask to see examples. Um, ask to see like... For instance, we were talking about uh, like a less audio, more concise video example of that. If you're going to go with a hybrid package from us, what does that else. look like? Or yeah, anybody what does else? It look like? What does that look like? If, yeah. if we're doing less audio, what does that mean? Um, ask to see a full highlight film if that's what you're considering or ask to see both if you're debating between the two. Sure. Yeah. Basically, just want to see what you're getting beforehand, just like you would with photos. Yeah. Um, Just go dive on their YouTube channel. You'll find quite a bit. <laughs> go looking around. Um, you also want to ask, are there any add-ons that they typically do or mm -hmm. recommend? Or um, if you have, again, customized, bespoke particular ideas about your wedding day, ask. You right. know, hey, I'm doing a chore choreographed surprised. That's not a past tense. I'm doing a choreographed surprise dance with my dad. 
Right. Where half is the sappy romantic stuff and the other half is a half is a hip hop routine. Right. Like let us know that in advance. Let us know. We'll be sure that <laughs> um that we're set up for that. Otherwise we're and, just gonna expect the slow dance with dad. <laughs> right. And uh that's something you could totally add on as a as a mm-hmm. separate item if right. you wanted just that. Yep. Or wanted all of that in its entirety because again, in a in a highlight video, you're only gonna probably get a piece of that. Right. You'll get a few seconds of it. Um you want to talk about delivery time kind of mm-hmm. up front? Um, what's the expectation for what's that? What's the expectation? What's our expectation for our that? Our expectation is about six weeks. Okay. That's usually our, for our video. video our video time frame. Because video does take longer than photo. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot more brain power, in my <laughs> opinion, that goes into making a video. Yeah. I'm not saying that photo takes less brain power, but... Um, you're you're basically assembling a puzzle. Mm-hmm. You know, you're trying to pick all these pieces that go together, and sometimes a non-linear puzzle, right? right. Where there's different pieces of the day at different times. And, yeah, mm-hmm. because wedding videos typically aren't chronological. They Not go, all of them. yeah, depending on depending on depending on the day, and depending on how you, as a creative storyteller, sure. want to tell the day. Something we've said before is try to find local companies. Mm-hmm. Try to find small businesses in your area. And the same applies to video. Yep. Um, there are lots of companies, if you look around, that are like national, like, I don't, I don't want to say conglomerate. It's probably not the right word. But no, I don't national, think that's the right word. Like groups of people who you hire someone. And, and you don't know who it is. Uh, that I've seen, shows up on wedding day. I've seen, look at our Maryland portfolio. And that's just so like not personal to me. No. And you don't know who's going to shoot. And if those are big enough companies, depending on how they're run, they are 110% posting on Facebook the week before looking mm-hmm. for your videographer. Yep. Because um, I'm in some of those groups and I have seen that happen too. Yep. Um, so find someone local, find someone that's passionate. Right. Right. Find someone that... Um, And I know for us, now we've had instances before um, where you might not get both of us. You might get just Joe or just me, um, but you're going to get our our style on your your video. Our heart and soul. Yes. What makes J&M J&M. Yes. You're getting that every time. And let's say we do send an associate to a wedding. Sure. Um, We are still the ones crafting your video, crafting your photos in the end. Yep. We are still touching your product. Sure. Um, whereas if you're going with one of those national companies, you might meet your videographer on a call that week or you might meet them the day of your wedding. And sure. then who knows when you'll get your video. We've heard Who everything. knows We've their heard their skill level. Heard the, heard the Who knows if this is their first wedding or not. You don't know. Honestly, I wouldn't think so. Okay, but, but somebody not. could randomly show up. Oh yeah, I can do video, and sure. then you know they got never hi- they never get their their video back. Sure, got hired by the company because they're capable of shooting video, but they've never done a wedding. Exactly. Yeah, I guess that I guess that could be possible. I've not heard that one. I don't know. But. I just feel like they're the the national looking for the videographer the week of the wedding companies are shady. I think so too. <laughs> um, and as always, ask questions. Yeah. See what you can find out. Most people who do this line of work are are pretty open and can answer all of your yeah. questions thoroughly. Um, yeah, just ask. I think that's kind of like yeah. The, and I know with us, like we are willing to work with people's budget, and we will like decrease the number of hours we're there, or we'll do like the less audio, shorter es- film, especially with videography package. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot more room in the budget, I think, with videography. Um, however, like I said earlier, in my opinion, videography should be more expensive than photography because it, there's so much work that goes into it, the prep for it, the amount of gear you're bringing on wedding day, and then the back end editing of it is just so much more. And I have not touched editing a wedding video and I can't imagine touching editing a wedding video. I don't edit these podcasts either. You do that. <laughs> like, Yeah, it's a lot, but it's fun work and it's rewarding work when it all clicks. Right. 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 I There's been, I, I think I've cried at every wedding video that you've made. Everyone? Uh, yeah, I think so. 
I know my mom. My mom is always like before <laughs> before Joe even sends the wedding video to the client, he like sends it to my mom. It's part of our quality assurance yeah. process. And if she cries, we know it's good. And she always cries. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Well, I think we should wrap this one up because we have kids and bills and heat to turn back on. Yeah. We turned our heat um, off so it wasn't in the so background of this. Let's see what else we have here. Joe, where can they find us? You can find us online at J and M spelled out photovideo.com. You can also find us on Instagram at J and M photo video. Find us on Facebook. Just punch it in. I'm sure it'll come right up. Yeah. I think we've claimed that handle as well. Um, and that's about it. You can, oh, we're on YouTube. The podcast, we're on YouTube. We're on YouTube. We're on Spotify. We're, we're on, on Apple Podcast. Correct. We're all those places. We're on I think all we're those on, places. I think we're on Google Podcasts as well. I didn't know that was a so thing. So I, I found out about it when we launched this. So. Well, hey. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the podcasts I listen to are on Apple, so I don't, yeah. I don't know. You can find us all the places, and we would love if you would uh, like the video if you're on the YouTube platform. Feel free to subscribe. We always love seeing new faces uh, pop up there and uh, rate us yeah. if you are on Apple or Spotify. We're hoping to keep this consistent, at least during our slower season. Um, so hopefully tune in next week. Is it is that or too much weeks. of a commitment? I don't know. We're, we're almost at Christmas. Yeah, that's so. true. We'll see. Maybe next week. Maybe tune the in, week after. Tune in soon. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll be back soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>